What is going on, everybody? It is Treep from Treep Talks here. And boy, oh boy, does it feel to be good sitting back in this chair talking to y'all about some Jacksonville Jaguar football, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm also going to be talking about my hair that I also talk about quite frequently. I need a haircut because this fluff is getting out of hand and it's getting annoying. I literally sat here brushing my hair for like fucking four or five minutes and I was like dude my hair is never gonna even get good so you know what we're just gonna hit that record button and get this thing going plus I'm gonna be off camera for most of the video now I asked you guys what video did you guys want me to drop today and it was a very very close race between going over the 53 man roster and Quincy Williams Jags origins now after 50 votes, the verdict has came in that you guys want to sit back, relax, and get to know Quincy Williams a little bit better. I teased this video a couple months ago that I wanted to do this, but now it is officially here on this Labor Day Monday, and we're going to hop right into it. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jaguars. This is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Origins, Quincy Williams. Quincy Williams was born August 28, 1996. So the boy just had a birthday. So everybody in the comment section say, Happy belated birthday, Quincy Williams. Now one thing that is very well known about Quincy Williams is his brother is Quinnen Williams, the third overall selection by the New York Jets in the 2019 NFL Draft. Both brothers got drafted in the same draft class, and they both went to Wanawa, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, high school in Birmingham, Alabama. Now football wasn't Quincy Williams' first love. His first love was actually in the swimming pool. He started off being a swimmer until his brother, Quinnen, convinced him to play the sport of football. He said the physicality of the game definitely lured him more to that than swimming. He said that he loved the contact, he loved watching football, and that he knew that that's where he belonged. Now he didn't start off by playing linebacker, he started off playing at running back. And Quentin Williams and Quincy Williams grew up in a very competitive household and they were just as competitive on the football field as well. Quentin Williams, every time he'd say that he saw Quincy get the ball during practice, he'd try and hit him as hard as he can. Now Quincy was getting tired of getting hit and he wanted to dish out some punishment of his own. So he decided to move to the linebacker position on the defensive side of the ball. And that switch proved to benefit Quincy Williams. His senior year, he won the Birmingham Partnership Defensive Player of the Year when he finished the year with 101 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, 3 sacks, 5 pass breakups, and 3 forced fumbles. He also garnered first team All-Metro honors named to the Birmingham News All-West Honorable Mention Team as a junior where he registered 85 tackles, 11 and a half tackles for loss, one interception, and five, break, five pass breakups. Excuse me. He also was a good athlete on the track as well. He, had, he jumped 6 foot 4 to claim the Alabama State High Jump Championship in 2013. Now, Quincy's brother, Quinnen, of course, went to the University of Alabama, one of the, if not the most powerful powerhouse football team in the entire college football ranks. But Quincy, he decided to be a little bit more low-key. Quincy Williams committed to Murray State, where he played outside linebacker. Quincy Williams was never a flashy player as far as stats go in college. His first season, he made 32 tackles with 13 solo tackles, recorded one pass breakup, and four quarterback hits. In 2015, he played in 11 games with three starts. He made 31 tackles with a career high, eight against Eastern Kentucky. In 2017, he played 11 games in his first full year as a starter with 10 starts. He finished 4th on the team with 57 tackles, tallied a career-high 10 tackles against Eastern Illinois, and hauled in his first career interception against Eastern Kentucky. Now, much like his high school career where he was getting outshined by his brother Quinnen, and the fact that he wasn't too flashy, didn't get a huge college offer, had to go play for Murray State, 
a lot of that was very similar to his path to the NFL. He was not on anybody's big board top 200 players. The only pl- the only real experts that knew about Quincy Williams were the, the scouts that do all this digging, that know how to find hidden gems. And Quincy Williams was a guy that was constantly, constantly brought up in the list of guys that are going to go unnoticed but could, could potentially be a gem in the 2019 NFL Draft. In fact, Quincy Williams was so unknown that he didn't even have a highlight package to be played during the NFL Draft, and analysts were confused as to who this player was. They had nothing to show. He wasn't at the draft. Everything was a big old question mark and a big old mystery as to who this Quincy Williams guy was really is and if you do some research on Quincy Williams it makes you think even more about who this guy truly is and what he is all about because even on the internet you don't find that much about him what you do find is a highlight package of Quincy Williams highlights that was uploaded by the man himself Quincy Williams he was trying to get his name out there he wanted scouts to see him and he wanted to go to the NFL just like his brother and you know what the Jaguars took a shot on the 5 foot 10 linebacker from an FCS school and said you know what let's make it happen and so far it has panned out Quincy Williams has been one of the biggest standouts in Jaguars camps thus far and he has been injured but he's going to be a full go week one of the NFL season And it's going to be very, very exciting to see how Quincy Williams, the mystery man, how this guy is going to pan out. And that was Jags Origins, Quincy Williams. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't, ma- haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.